Connect Sports, along with Connect Adventures, is the one-two counterpunch to the other system's casual family-based games, and although weaker in some areas, the whole is truly greater than the sum of its parts. Hey there everyone, this is Ray Carcillo, and I admit that when I heard the list of games in Connect Sports, ping pong, soccer, boxing, track and field, beach volleyball, and bowling, I was really curious to see how this was going to differentiate itself from Wii Sports or the PS Moves Sports Champions. And if you just look at the list of games, it really doesn't. When you actually start playing the game, you can't help but get sucked into it. I'd love to try to rank the games from best to worst, but they're all just so good that it's no easy feat. The only possible down point for the game is that the graphics and audio really aren't anything special, but they're by no means detrimental to the game either. The beach volleyball and boxing games are very smooth and work well, but really aren't much different than Sports Adventures Beach Volleyball or Wii Sports Boxing. Although I did like the fact the game removed my glasses from my avatar from the boxing. I mean, you wouldn't hit a man with glasses, would you? Still though, not a lot of differences here. The ping pong and bowling games are probably the weakest of the six if I did have to rank them, for the simple reason that it's really hard to get a feel for them without having anything in your hands. And this is something that may prove to haunt to connect later on in its life. And, and another thing about it is, when you're playing Wii Sports Bowling, one thing I do, because it really helps sort of your bowling movements, is you hold the remote and you sort of hold your left hand the way you would an actual bowling ball. That way you can get your, your actual motions. But with we with the Connect version, if you hold your left hand up, um, it sort of makes the the ball. Uh, check that out, Ray. It, it makes the ball sort of go a little crazy. Just me holding my hand up. It doesn't really. You can't really do that. So you're so you're not going to get as natural a bowling motion if it can't capture your left hand up there. Now, when you uh, when you do it this way, if you hold your hand behind your back and just go with one hand. It's, a, it's, a, it's much better. It totally gets the ball. So you have to sort of keep your left hand off camera and then you can go through with your motions and it's really good. Obviously, I'm really good. <laughs> Still though, the sounds of spectators screaming as you hurl bowling balls towards the crowd instead of down in the lane is hysterical, as demonstrated here by Kevin. <laughs> Scream! <laughs> The games that really shine for Connect Sports, though, is the track and field and soccer. The soccer is easy to pick up and jump right into, and the Connect picks up your foot angle really well when kicking the ball, so you could actually bend it like Beckham. And as you can see by some of my goal celebrations, I clearly did a few times. Goal! 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 The track and field is also great because it's broken down into the five sub-events of javelin, long jump, 100 meter sprinting, hurdles, and discus all of which are really accurate at picking you up and flow really well in terms of gameplay, and are a lot of fun when you're playing with multiple people. Say, is that discus part of the space program? Of course, though, the best part about all these games is playing them with your friends, or online. I know that having the rest of the CGR Undertow team around made this experience even more enjoyable than had I been doing it by myself. If you get a Kinect, I think Kinect Sports is a must-purchase and comes with my highest recommendation, and it's a lot of fun, especially when you have other people around. Some of your best moves.